Okay, so I've no homework to correct, okay? So I have, I was doing the questions on the quadratic curves, right? And I have one more question to do and then I'm going on to draw on cubic curves, okay? So they might ask you girls when a function is positive or negative. And what they mean is, right, when they, you can stick this into your notes. So when a function is positive or negative, they mean, um, is it uh, above the x-axis or below the x-axis? So when it's a, this is the x-axis, remember the horizontal axis is the x-axis. So when it's above the x-axis, it's positive, and when it's below the x-axis, it's negative. So if I had a red viral, I covered, so here these two bits are positive, and the loopy bit down at the bottom, if I do a squiggly line, it's negative. Okay, so the heavy lines are positive, and if I do just a squiggly line below the the, the x-axis, that's the negative bit. So positive and negative just means above the x-axis and below the x-axis. The y-axis has no has no um no bearing whatsoever. So don't worry about the y-axis. So positive and negative just means is it um above the x-axis or below the x-axis? Right, so if the bit that's above the x-axis, we say that's positive, and the bit that's below the x-axis is negative, okay? So, when you have this written down, you might give me a shout, and I'll be able to, well, I'll ask you, and you can shout at me. I'll give you a sec. So, just the end of that is just an example, right, okay? So I just drew out a proper graph there, okay, and it says here, right, here's a graph, it crosses at minus 2 and 1, so we say it's positive when x is less than minus 2, as in from here back. Again, we don't worry about the y values, we just give the, the x values. So when x is less than minus 2, from that number there, that all the way back because if you continue on it's still going to be positive that goes on forever and from this number up it's also positive so the positive is in two bits so the answer is in two bits so the graph is in two bits and the answer is in two bits so when x is less than minus two as in from minus two back forever and when x is greater than one as in from one up to ever so from here up the the, the graph is always going to be up there, okay? And the negative bit is between, and remember between girls, they give it to you in the, in the question when they ask you to draw, so you don't need to remember what between looks like. Just uh, remember what it means. So x, this means this is between. That just means between. So between minus 2 and 1, it's negative, as in it's below the x-axis. And the other way, the other two bits, right, it's positive. So from x less than minus 2, from there back, and from 1 up, it's above the x-axis, right? So if the graph is in two bits, the answer is in two bits. And if the graph is all together, it uses this between symbol, okay? So... We ready? On mute and go no if you're not ready. Are we ready? No. Thank you. Right, are we ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everyone's okay? Yeah. Right, okay. So I'm. that was the last question, right, that's on uh, quadratic equations. Remember though, we'll be doing cubic equations now, and you'll get the same type of questions, okay? So they'll ask you for the roots, they'll ask you, here's x, find me y, here's y, find me x. 
they'll ask you for the maximum and the minimum and they might ask you when it's positive or negative okay but we cross all that when we get to it right the first thing we have to do is we have to learn how to draw cubic equations okay so we're going to be graphing a cubic equation so basically a cubic equation guards has an x cubed term okay so it's going to be something x cubed now there might be an x squared term there might be an x there might be a number and so on these are irrelevant all you need is an if you have an x cubed term this the graph will either look like this so it starts low and finishes on a high or it starts high and it does a twirly bit and it finishes on the low only one twirly bit right okay so a cubic equation when graphed will look like it either look like this or this so if the number in front of x cubed is positive right we finish on a high so we start low and we finish on a high when you're positive you finish on a high right if the number in front of the x cubed term and that's the only one you want to look at it doesn't matter what any signs on any of the rest of them just the x cubed term if that's negative right okay if you're negative you're down in the dump so you're going to finish on a low right okay so if there's a positive x cubed you finish on a high so that means you start low and if it's a negative x cubed you finish on a low which means you start high and finish on a low okay And when you draw these graphs, okay guys, there's two turning, these are called turning points, right? So here is a turning point and here is a turning point, okay, I'll... Actually, I'll just give you a minute. Right, can, can I move it up? Have I cut someone off? Have I cut someone off? Say no. No. We're okay? No. We're okay. Right. Okay. So when you draw your graph, and this one I'm finished on a high, so this is a positive x cubed. It's just the example I've used. Okay. So in a cubic equation, guys, there will be two turning points. A turning point is I'm going up, I reach this point, and I turn and I come down okay so you turn and you go the opposite direction and a turning point turning point here i'm coming down and i turn and i go up okay this one is up high so it's called the maximum turning point and this one is down low it's called the minimum turning point okay so you know from the graph if it's the one up high it's the maximum if it's the one down low it's the minimum and that's a positive x cubed so it's an, i don't know what the number in front of x cubed is but i know it's positive how do i know it's positive because i finished on a high okay we good And I move on, going, going, gone. Right, okay, here's an example. So, so we're going to graph this from start to finish, okay? So graph x cubed minus 3x squared minus 2x plus 5. Right, okay, it's always handy to know what you're supposed to end up with, right? So is the number in front of x cubed, is it positive or negative? It's, there's no number there. One's understood to be there and it's positive. So when it's positive, it's going to finish on a high. So when I finish, my graph should look something like that. Okay? Right? So we we learn. Um, it, it's handy to know what, what you're supposed to end up with. Okay? 
Right, so you have to graph this between minus 2 and 4. Now the method is the exact same, guys. You get f of minus 2. You get f of minus 1. You get f of 0. I'm doing it out the long way. I'll show you how to do it in the calculator in a minute. f of 2. f of 3. And f of 4. Okay? So you get all the numbers between minus 2 and 4. So into your calculator, everywhere it's in x, put in a, a minus 2. And make sure you put in the brackets because girls, um, the signs will mess you up if you don't put the x in a bracket. Minus 2 times minus 2 plus 5. Okay, I'll work that out in a minute now. Minus 1 to be cubed, minus 3 times minus 1, minus 2 times minus 1 plus 5 okay 0 you put 0 to be cubed minus 3 times 0 to be squared minus 2 times 0 and a plus 5 at the end I can work that one out very quickly that's 5 that would be minus 8 minus 12 is minus 20 plus 4 is minus 16 plus 5 is 11 Probably minus 11, is it? And I'm going to finish. Yeah, it must be minus 11. Minus 8, that's minus 20. Yeah, so that's minus 11. The next one is minus 1 plus 3 is 2 plus 2. Um, that should be. That's minus 1 to be cubed is minus 1. That's minus 3, that's minus 4. Minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2, plus 5 is 3. I'll be checking all these in the calculator in a minute when I do it in the calculator. This one is 1 to be cubed, minus 3 times 1 to be squared, minus 2 times 1 plus 5. That's minus 2, minus 4 plus 5 is 1. Right, this one, 2 to be cubed, minus 3 times... 2 to be squared minus 2 times 2 plus 5. So that's 8 minus 12 is minus 4 minus 8. That would be plus 5 minus 3, I think. Right, the next one, 3 to be cubed minus 3 times 3 to be squared minus 2 times 3 plus 5, I think, is minus 1. Right, next one, 4 to be squared, cubed even, minus 3 times 4 to be squared, minus uh, 2 times 4 plus 5, and I'll definitely need a calculator for that, I'd say. That's 64, 3 fours, that's 3 sixteens of 48, that's 16, take away 8 is 8, plus 5 is 13, I think. Right, okay, anyway, how do you do it on your calculator, okay? Right, okay, so you press mode, right, okay, and um, on your calculator, then you press table, which will be number three, right, you'll get this f of x equals up, so then you put in x cubed, so you'll find the x over the closed bracket, so it's alpha and the closed bracket, then there's a cubed, so x cubed minus 3, I need the x again, alpha in the closed bracket, squared minus 2 alpha x plus 5. So there's your um, your function in, right, then you press the enter. The next one that will come up on yours, don't mind that, yours won't have that. Start is minus 2, so you start with minus 2, enter it. End is 4, enter it, and step 1 is always step 1, so just enter that, right, and you'll get up your table then, right, okay, so I get, sorry, minus 2 minus 11, yeah, uh, minus 1, 3, 0, 3, 1, 1, right, and then I use the down arrow, why oh, won't it go down?
Okay, it won't move for me. I don't know what I'm actually doing. I'm to mess this up anyway. Generous. Yes. Turn the zero number I got um, five. five. Yeah. I yeah, said. So did I. Yeah, I said five, and I wrote down three. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. I think I think I'm right then. So the couples are minus two, minus eleven. Right. Minus one, three. Zero five and um, one one two minus three three minus one is that minus one now or plus one? No, it's minus one, I think. I got minus one, yeah. Yeah. And the last one is four thirteen. Okay? Right, so there's your points to draw your graph, okay? Um what was it going to say? Um, uh, one or the other. You either do it out by hand or you use the calculator. You don't need to do both. I did both because I prefer the calculator, but some of you asked me, could you do it out by hand? So I said I do both ways. Okay, but you choose one or the other, right? And you don't need to show this. It's okay to go directly to your couples because they expect you to type it into the calculator. Do you know what I mean? They, they don't mind you. They gave you a calculator to use it. So, right? Okay. Right. I also know this is what my graph should look like. So if it doesn't look like this, right, I've gone wrong. It's handy to know what, what you're looking at, okay? So um, can I do this? Right, okay, so let's draw. So I have to go minus 2, minus 11. Right, I went across in 1s, and I went up and down in 2s. So across to minus 2, down to minus 11. Across to minus 1, up to 3. Across 0, up to 5. Right, across 1, up to 1. Across, sorry, yeah, no, that's fine. Across 2, down to minus 3. Across 3, down to minus 1. And 4, up to 13. Right? Okay. So, it's handy to know what you're looking for. Right? Okay, because you know you're going to, you want to make that sort of a shape. So, start low. Right? Up you go. Turn around. Come back down turn around and go up again and there is your cubic equation draw is that okay okay i'm not going to yeah i'm not going to get you to do any um questions tonight but just this is the maximum turning point because it's a turning point that's up high and this point here is the minimum turning point it's where we turn to go back up. Is that all right? Okay, so I'm just going to ask you to do a couple of these tonight now, and I didn't, I closed the book, sorry, so you'll have to give me a minute. Um, cubic functions, page 180. Right, okay. So if we um, do page 177, page 176 to 177, so page 176 to 177, 1, 2, and 3. Now there's no questions on them. I would deal with all the questions ones with the questions tomorrow okay so page 176 to 177 question one two and three okay so when you the whole lot down and the work down and um, you can head off and i'll see you tomorrow i meet you every day now i decided i know you decided you didn't want to but i decided i want to so yeah okay thank you right so you can head off yeah see you tomorrow Thank you. Bye now.